today, which is so wild, so crazy. Um, this is such a surreal moment for me. It's such a surreal day for me and it's also very overwhelming because I have a total mix of emotions. On one end of the scale, I am still dealing with losing Binks. It's only been about three months. And then on the other end of the scale, I'm also excited to start this new journey with this new kitten. The way that this has all unfolded and the way that this kitten came into my life is so synchronistic and it's actually kind of mind-blowing a little bit. It's actually our tenant's cat, Lily, who is the mom of these kittens. She had three kittens and Lily was one of Binks' best friends. And so when they found out that Binks died, they offered me my choice of any of the kittens and there were three. And so I've actually gotten to see this kitten grow and I got to check in with him every few weeks and that's been really special. I feel like that's not a really common experience that we get with our cats. I do want to tell you how I knew that this kitten was for me because the way that I got Binks was really synchronistic and I feel like this is entirely synchronistic as well. When I was looking for Binks, uh, it was really hard for me, it was a really hard choice to make and but something happened that showed me that that was the kitten for me. The listing came up, he was the last kitten and I was actually looking for a female. They told me that the last kitten was a female and that it was mine and I knew that that kitten was mine because Binks was born on Sunday, March 3rd, and Noelle had died exactly one year before on Sunday, March 4th. And so that's how I knew that Binks was for me. Uh, it turns out he was a boy. <laughs> he was just so fluffy that uh, it was really hard to tell. So there is a reason that I know that this particular kitten is a gift for me from Binks. So two weeks or so before Binks died, I was sitting on the couch with my friend Kayla and something just came over me. And it was like I, it was like within one second, I knew that I had jumped a timeline. And it was like, I was, it was like my future self looking back on that moment, knowing that something in my life was about to change forever. It was like a deja vu, but it was so much more significant. I don't know if I'm describing that very well, but that's how it felt. And I said to her in that moment, like she could tell that something was happening inside me. And I said, something's about to happen. I can feel it. Something is about to change. Something's about to happen. And from that time on, I started seeing the number 16 friggin' everywhere. And then Binks died two weeks later and I never stopped seeing the number 16. And when the kitten was five weeks old, I had to make a decision if I was gonna take him. So when he was first born, I was not ready for a new kitten, but I chose the kitten that I would take. And then when he was five weeks, I was told someone else wants him. So if I could make a decision, that would be really helpful. And in the moment that I was supposed to make the decision, I was walking towards our tenant's door and and she was wearing this shirt and it had a giant 16 on it. And so I just knew that was my sign that this kitten was for me. I haven't picked out a name yet. I have a few names that I like and then I will pick one when I get to know his personality a little bit more. I'm gonna go get my new cat. I'll be right back. <laughs>
his chest. Okay, so we put him in Binx's bed. <clears throat> he was really scared. He was hissing. <laughs> he like he prefers to be tucked up. So <clears throat> I've actually had orange cats before. I had a gigantic fluffy orange cat growing up. I had him my entire childhood and teenage years. His name was Mr. Griswold and he was such a cool cat. He was, he was a really lovely cat and we had his mom too and they had such a beautiful little bond. So I think it's really cool that this little kitty is gonna be able to see his mom in the yard because we share a yard. And so he might, he might have a similar bond. because he's so gentle like Winnie the Pooh and also Winnie is the witch in Hocus Pocus that turned the boy into the cat Binks and so I really like that. I also think Oz is a cute name because he has these little tufts of fur on the side of his face and so he looks like a little werewolf and so I think Oz is cute from Buffy. Um, and I also really like the name Birdie. I think that's really cute. I think he needs maybe like a soft name because his energy and his soul feel so soft and gentle. Soft and gentle? Another name that I was thinking about was Todd. I think that's so cute from Fox and the Hound. And I think he looks like a Todd. But during one of the times that we were hanging out when he was growing up, um, growing up, when he was uh, just really little, uh, he let me know that his name wasn't Todd, so that was one of the contenders, but we caught that one. garden is totally fenced in so he can roam around in here and oh, he's just the cutest he has the coolest whiskers I don't even know what to say about these whiskers they're so cute <laughs>
survived our first night together. He is just the sweetest little thing. He's gotten more comfortable, so he... He's gotten more comfortable in our space and with me, so he's getting a bit more playful. And he's even such a gentle little player. What are you doing? <laughs> I can't get over his whiskers. They're so funny. Are you so silly? So he did literally the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life last night. He was sleeping behind me on the top of the couch. And I picked him up and I put him on my chest. And he sat up and he looked at me. And then he just closed his eyes and then fell right over and his head landed on my heart and he was just asleep instantly just laying on my chest oh my god is that not everyone's dream come true So this is the food that he will be eating for his whole life, probably. It's the Hills Veterinarian Recommended Food, and I have the kitten one, and it has these really small kibbles uh, so that he doesn't have any issues eating it. And this is what Binks ate, and he was so healthy, and he had such a beautiful silky coat. It's really important that male kittens have a good diet for the first year of their life because they can get like crystals. Um, and so it's just really important for male kittens to have really good diet in their first year of their life. So for the last couple days, he's just been mostly eating this kitten pate and he really likes it. So um, I'm gonna try and transition him more into the hard food. I know that he was eating hard food when I got him, but um, he's preferred this the last few days. Did you like your dinner? tree and see if he likes the feeling of the bark beneath his little toes. <laughs>
so one of Banks's favorite games when I first got him was Tissue Ghost. <laughs> it's basically where I take a tissue <laughs> and dangle it in front of them and pretend it's a ghost and then they have to get it. This was Noelle's toy, and Binks loved it. It was his favorite toy, and now it's Winnie's favorite toy. officially picked his name. Everyone, this is Detective Winnie Winston. And it took him a while, <laughs> took him a while to hear his name, but now he hears Winnie. And it's so cute. 
He's just a little Winnie the Pooh. He's so cute. He's so gentle and he's such a silly cat. He has the silliest little things that he does. Something that I love about Winnie is that he is an absolute world-class cuddler. He is a little snuggle bug and it is so darling. I just love it so much. I've never had a cat that loves to cuddle in the way that he does and oh it just makes me feel so loved and he is just so cute. Who wouldn't want to cuddle with his little face? <gasps> Are you gonna try to bite me? <sighs> he loves to sit on my left shoulder. <laughs> it's so funny. Oh, there he goes. So that's going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. It's been about two weeks since I got Winnie. And so thank you for coming along on our first two week journey together and watching him grow. He's literally doubled in size. It's kind of crazy. Um, yeah, so stay tuned for more adventures of Detective Winnie Winston.